Hello Planet, welcome to SRD Planet, where we talk about sustainability, resources, and diversity. Species reintroductions projects are one of the most exciting topics to me. And today, it is my absolute pleasure to be able to share with you my experience related to such an event in Switzerland in the year 2021. Bearded vultures have been exterminated in Europe in the early 20th century. Following their absence in the Alps and also in Switzerland for over 100 years, now they have been gradually brought back in the past few decades from remaining populations in the Middle East. The year 2021 is another important milestone in the history of the project, as two new members are added to the local population of about 200 animals aiming at increasing the genetic diver diversity of the species. My first adventure with the project happened in June 2021 with the release event and then it continued with my quest to follow the young birds through their development as they mastered the skill of flight and eventually left the release site. Now let me take you on a visit to central Switzerland to the Bearded Vulture Reintroduction Project site. These peaks around here are over 3,000 meters all over the place. Look at that scenery. Looking at these rock faces up there, looks like a pretty nice habitat for vultures and also for mountain climbers. You can see it on the mountains, still many snow patches. We'll see how many we have to cross while we ascend to the spot where they are releasing the vultures. And there comes the first star of the day, a 90-day-old bearded vulture chick. So we're getting close to the place where we're going to put the birds out there. It's a beautiful environment. I hope they will like it here. They've been just imported from Spain, actually, the past not too many days. They haven't really had the time to acclimatize. Well, I'm curious how it's going to work out for them. I do hope that it will. This isn't the first time they do that. They've been doing these releasing events, reintroduction events, like for several years now. This is the fifth time. There are already about 200 birds living in Switzerland. There are also many breeding pairs. As I heard in the southwest Switzerland, there are like six or seven chicks this season. And there are more in the southeast as well. So that's pretty exciting. It's pretty good news, I think. There are marmots on this hillside here. So they have arrived with the birds and the um, whatever equipment they need with them. All the way to that spot below that big boulder is where they're going to place the birds. And opposite that boulder, on the other side of the valley, above this info stand here, they have their observation booths. 
right there. That's when they're gonna watch them day and night until they finally fledge and leave their nesting place. There are marmots calling up there. Here they come in the boxes. There are the birds, the vultures, young bearded vultures that they're gonna put out here now. Release to the wild. They can't fly yet though. It will take them like six weeks to fully grow and learn to fly. And we're back at the start. The birds are out there now waiting for their learning lessons, flight learning lessons. And I think I'll come back and take a look at them once. After their placement under the huge rock face in their safe release spot, the daily activities and development of the young bearded vultures can be continuously watched on a webcam installed at the release location. This is how I knew when they were ready to show off their flying skills and when it was time for me to return to the project site. It is exactly one month after the release of the young bearded vultures in central Switzerland and now we are back at the same spot and what we want to do is figure out whether there's still anybody at home. One of the vultures started flying about a week ago and I don't know whether it's back already or maybe it's gone for good and the other one started flying just yesterday. So there is a chance that this could be still around. So uh, we'll see what happens. I arrived at the info stand of the introduction uh, project location. And the rock where they're releasing the birds are just behind me right there and I'm lucky because there are actually two birds here as I was told uh, one older bird which was uh, released three years ago and keeps coming back every year and one of the young uh, vultures is still here as well they're hiding up there in the rock it's uh, almost impossible to see them without pretty strong binoculars but um, I hope I'll be lucky to see them fly um, and um, I'll wait around for a while to see what happens. <laughs> and now you can see one vulture flying along the rocky ridge. This bird is the older one released three years ago. Although still quite young, by now it has mastered all skills necessary for its survival and keeps and it keeps visiting the project site every year. Of the two young birds released in 2021, one is currently exploring the nearby mountains, so we cannot expect him to show up at the uh, site today. But the other one is still sitting somewhere up on the rock and it could take to the wing any moment. 
Hat er was geschärft? Wenn da so am Vorbeilaufen bist und nicht hinguckst, kannst du sogar vorbeilaufen ohne das. Haben Sie aber das aber beste Ausweg? Ja, ja. So, das ist es auch gemerkt, das ist eine Umwelt. Sie können jetzt vielleicht was ja, aber Sie, Sie, kann, Sie sehen den Unterschied zwischen Mund und Gang. Sie merken das, hast du Zwischen Spargel und Steinadel. Ja, mit der Zeit, hä? Ja, das ist noch spannend. Also, das wäre so der nächste Schritt. There he flies, the old one. The old friend. Bearded vultures with a wingspan of 2.8 meters are majestic and gracious sight in the air. They can soar effortlessly over extended periods, which enables them to cover vast areas in search for food. Their diet consists mostly of bones left over from carcasses, so they occupy a unique niche with little competition from other scavenger species. They live relatively long as well, their lifespan is 30 to 40 years. Thank you very much for watching this episode of SRD Planet. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and stay tuned for similar content in the future.